Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Marilyn Munro. Marilyn. How lovely you are. Here, I kept a place for you. I have to be next to Marilyn. What a good idea. I wish we could all bring a friend. One does get so terribly nervous. It's just like the first day at school, isn't it? So, welcome, dear Marilyn, to our little fraternity. We may seem a little strange and uh, quaint to you at first, but I hope that in time you may come to find your method in our madness. <laughs> so, my very noble and approved good masters, may we strive to create a work of art that, led by your good graces, will be cherished as long as Mosion pictures may be remembered. Mary, you're surprised to get my invitation? I'll say I was surprised. I was so surprised, I couldn't hardly think you meant me. Oh, but of course I meant you. I had your name most carefully marked down in my program. In matters of this kind, I assure you, I'm most methodical. Who would you think I meant, if not you? Gee, Mr. Sir, I could just listen to your accent all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you darling, Marilyn. Just, you're amongst friends now. Just plain Larry will suffice, really. That's so sweet. Um, whenever you're ready. Well, Maisie Springfield. Oh, oh, no, 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 not Maisie Springfield. She is quite what I would call old head. Remember why you were in the embassy, Marilyn? What did the Grand Duke want from Elsie? You came here and you thought it was going to party. Uh -huh. It's just you. Okay, you experience, Marilyn. It's, it's only a retro, Paula. Marilyn has to begin finding the character. Oh, the character is on the page. The words, maybe, not the character. Aren't we going to have fun? Ah. Well, we'll pick it up whenever you like. <laughs> <laughs>